everybody, Chris Aiello, Workout Boss here. And today I came home from work and I decided to go do a workout in my basement. And I'm like, you know what? I have this equipment here. I don't even know what this thing is called, but I use it, get a good workout with it. Um, and then I couldn't find my big dumbbell, so you know what I decided? I said, hey, you always hear people talk about, oh, if you don't have weights at home, you can use a can of soup. So, today, I'm actually going to use cans of soup. These aren't even, this isn't even soup, these are beans, okay? This is the can of beans workout. And I don't even have the same kinds of beans, okay? But we're still going to use them, because you can still get a good workout with them, okay? So just follow this workout. If you don't have anything at home, if you're just starting out, here you go. Ready? So I'm going to start my workout. I'm just going to do some squats. I'm going to hold the cans. It's okay, you know, I'm going to put the can, that's if you have a bigger can, I'm going to put this one in my left hand because that's my weaker side. So there we go, that's that. Squat, just to warm up, get the big muscle groups going, get the blood working in the big muscle groups, it'll warm up a lot faster. Okay, butt kicks, keep my arms extended, work in the shoulders, let's do some arm circles forward, butt kicks. Okay, reverse the arm circles. Alright. Long day at the office, come home, simple can of soup, can of beans workout, okay? Twist, shoulder width, feet shoulder width apart, twisting, twisting, I'm loosening up my lower back. I haven't been sitting all day, but if you've been sitting all day, you're going to want to loosen up your lower back to feel real good, so it doesn't get so stiff, okay? If it does get stiff, we'll see a massage therapist, okay? Over, 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 let's add this. Just to add a little extra. It's always good to try to do a full body workout. Full body exercises, you can work out a lot less time, you get a lot more accomplished in less time. Okay? Okay, I'm gonna come down here, feet shoulder width apart, go down. I'm just gonna lean slightly to one side, open, down, open. I'm coming down, keeping my back straight, sticking my butt out, and open, okay? Have a little bit of Civil Wars on Pandora. I don't know, I was just in the mood for it today. Just woke up, some Civil Wars. Okay, good. I'm gonna lunge and curl. Lunge and curl. Good. By the way, that last exercise, working my quads, my abs, okay, my shoulder, posterior. Right now I'm working my biceps. Working my legs, okay? And I'm just gonna sit here, loosen up my wrists. Okay, if you're typing all day, loosen up those wrists, okay? The weights are gonna help you swing the wrist and get a little bit extra in that motion, okay? I'm bouncing, warming up the calves. If you can't bounce, calf raises are good. You can hold yourself up against the wall if you need to. Jumping jacks, four stepping jacks. Jumping jacks. Still holding those cans of beans. Good, good, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. We're gonna go into reverse lunges. Okay, we're gonna put more tension on the back quad. Boom, boom. My knees don't touch the ground. See, I'm just doing whatever feels natural. If you have heavier weights, you wanna do heavier weights, arms forward, that's fine. Arms come out, out, lateral deltoid. Targeting a bunch of different muscles right now. Feels good. If you can't do full lunges, just a simple bend. Just to get started. If you have knee problems, just bend. That's it. Just a little bit of tension on the muscle. A couple days a week, you'll start to feel much better. Alright, good. So I'm gonna go into some crunches because I want to activate my core before I do anything else. Okay, so I have my feet crossed, hands over the head, reach up towards the sky, I'm looking at the ceiling the whole entire time. So my cans of soup, my beans. Okay, roll control. Exhale on the way up. Get a nice extra, a deep contraction when you exhale, when you're crunching. Okay, I'm gonna go out and up. Out and up. If this bothers your neck, 
It's okay to kind of place your fingertips on your head, but don't crank on the neck, okay? My neck is strong, so I'm okay right now. But if I did a lot more of these, I definitely would need to put my hands in the back of my head. Still going strong with the soup. Okay, with the beans, extend, extend. My neck is relaxed. Pressing, 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 pressing. I'm also pressing through my heel, okay? I'm not doing a bicycle. All right, I'm actually extending, extending, extending the arms and legs. Deep breaths. All right, I'm gonna come back up. All right, I'm gonna be here. Hands are nice and sturdy. All right, I'm holding plank pose. Here we go. I'm holding plank pose, and I'm gonna row, row, row. Roll the beans, okay? If you can't be on your, the balls of your feet, you can go on your knees. Up, up, up. Just keep your elbow along your rib cage. You're gonna go out, 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 out. Okay, nice and wide. Push up. Still working that core and the chest now. Very important to keep your breathing, okay? It keeps you going. You need that oxygen constantly in your body. Closer. Working the triceps. All right, cool. All right, so some of you have seen that video for that contraption with the roller. It's like a wheel to go out. We're gonna use our can of soup the same way. And guess what? It cost me 69 cents. Ready? I'm gonna go forward. Then come back. Make sure you can see that. Come forward. I'm on my knees. Okay, if you have uh, you need a pillow, go ahead and put a pillow under your knees. Feels good. You don't have to go as far as I do, just you can kinda of rock forward. Feel your abs engage. Come back. Rock forward. Do the abs engage. Come back. Go off to the right. Left. Okay, good. I'm jog in place. I'm gonna get my heart rate back up. Okay, I'm just doing some isometric movements. I'm gonna get my heart rate back up, do my cardio, burn some fat. Okay, more jumping jacks. Good. Okay, I'm gonna step to the side, other side, lunge, hopping lunges. Still have my cans. Okay, good. I like to work my glutes, let's work the posterior. Okay, I'm gonna put one can down. I'm gonna grab onto one can, deep shoulder width apart, okay? I'm gonna bend, my knees are slightly unlocked, and come up, okay? I'm gonna contract my glutes. From here, contract my glutes. That will start a chain reaction. My glutes will fire, my hamstrings will fire, and I'm coming up at the same time, squeezing, everything's nice and tight, okay? At the same time, when I come up, and I pause here and I freeze myself. What's freezing me? Abs. Okay, working the hamstrings, glutes, abs, a little bit of the shoulders. Okay. If the weight was heavier, we're working a lot more, a lot harder. Okay, we're gonna go wide now. We're gonna work more of the inner hamstring this way, inner glute. Breathe, inhale, exhale, slight bend in your knee, up, up, dog in place, alright so that just woke up the whole back side of me, okay, so that tells my brain, okay, your back is ready, okay, let's do some stuff for the posterior, 
All right, put the can down. Reverse plank, okay? So you're gonna start here seated. Just put your hands down with a comfortable fingers facing back behind you on your heels or to make it easier on your feet. And up. And you wanna envision that there are strings attached to your hips right here and someone is constantly pulling them up. Okay, that really helps you just kind of keep that contraction and keep it going. They're pulling, pulling, pulling. My chin is back. Breathing nice and deeply. Okay, if you start to feel yourself dip, imagine someone tugging on those strings. Up nice and high. Strong, strong shoulders. Pushing through the floor. Good job. Hold it. Okay, I'm going to go up on one foot, putting more tension on my right hamstring right now. Okay, I'm gonna bend my knee a little bit. Other side. The bent knee is just gonna put more pressure on the hamstring and just take pressure off the joint. That's all it's gonna do. Still have strong shoulders. Okay, good. All right, now hip raises. All right, so I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna do one-legged hip raises. Normally, you just kind of come up. All right, make it a little bit more challenging. Here, press up to that heel of the flat foot. Good, keep the other leg extended. And we're squeezing the glute. Okay, of the leg that's on the ground, you're just gonna squeeze that glute. Okay, if you did everything else that we just did, you're really gonna feel it engage. Okay, you won't get, you're not gonna be working other muscles except the glute hamstring. All right, maybe abs. All right, switch, press. Press, nice and high. I'm gonna do some chest flies. Just to change it up a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna alternate pressing. You can get up a little bit higher. Good job. Really work and tighten up those glutes. If your left side is weaker, like mine is, then you're gonna to wanna to do a few extra reps on that side to help strengthen it more. Makes sense, doesn't it? All right, good. Okay, now I'm gonna do some more ab work. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit more challenging. These are called V-ups, okay? If you have problems engaging your core and you constantly feel tension on your lower back when you're doing ab exercises, here's a good exercise for you to do to help try to start to engage and feel, get those neural pathways working. Okay, so here on all fours, and you're gonna crunch, okay? I'm not sucking anything in. I'm actually contracting like an accordion, my upper and my lower abdominals, so your hip bones here and your chest come together, okay? So here, and if you bring those together, your back is naturally just gonna arch, okay? That's gonna disengage the lower back and engage your lower abdominals. So you can just do that, relax, engage, squeeze so you can feel it, get the blood in there, and release. Engage and release, okay? Another good one. Once you get, once you master that one, knees on the ground. Sorry, knees up, feet flat. And I'm gonna take my fingertips and I'm gonna reach, looking up. I'm gonna reach towards my heels. Okay, and you're gonna do that until you can get your feet off the ground, and then bring your knees towards you at the same time, and that really starts to work your lower abs. Okay, where was I? V ups. Okay, nice and wide, up, feet don't touch the ground, arms don't touch the ground, up, extra contraction, in the middle, wide, okay, I'm going to do V-ups here, narrow, sweat going. I'm going to finish up with my power workout, my power exercises. Burpees, okay? Burpees here. I'm going to place this can of soup or beans on the carpet, okay? I'm going to use that as a gauge for how far I'm going to go down for my push-ups. Okay, so I'm going to come down, hands on the sides of the can, out in the plank pose, down, touching the can, push up, 
Jump forward and jump up. Repeat. Out, down, up. I'm going a little fast here, but I'm still trying to get a workout here today. <laughs> I'll demo the modified version and I'm good and done here. Breathe. Down, up. Okay, so there's that. And then you're going to go down. Modified version. Down, okay. Bending the knees. I'm not bending at the waist. Bending my knees. Hand, hand. Place one foot out. Place the other foot out. Okay, you notice how I kind of have my butt in the air? That shares the weight between not just my core, but my feet. Okay? And then you can do a push up, or you don't have to do a push up. You can go as far as you can. You can try bending your elbows a little bit. Otherwise, just hold plank pose and then forward, forward, up, calf raise, jump, whatever you want to do there. So it's bend, place, step, step, bend or hold plank, step, step, calf raise or jump. Alright? So. Thank you very much for joining me. Be sure to follow me on Facebook. Facebook, Workout Boss MKE. Twitter, at Workout Boss. And please subscribe to my videos. You've been souped. <laughs>